Did you know that Resident Evil Degeneration had a game adaptation on Java phones? It had zombies alongside three tyrants, a better inventory than RE6, objects you could shoot, and a brand new merchant with many guns and upgrades. It even had mercenaries. So, in today's video, we're going to take a good look into this game, where it came from, the story, and the differences it had between Java and iOS versions. So, let me explain. With the massive success of live action Resident Evil movies, Capcom decided to try his luck and make a computer made CG movie. And with the help of Sony, they made Resident Evil Degeneration. And to be honest, it was a banger. It only made over 11 million dollars from US home sales alone. The movie plot is actually canon. Basically, it bridges the gap between what happened after the fall of Umbrella and before of Resident Evil 5 and the rise of Tricell. And since the movie came out in the era that Capcom was trying so hard to multimedia their products, it became the perfect vessel for them to try and overthrow the mobile industry. So Capcom and Nokia decided to cross-promote Resident Evil Degeneration for the new Engage 2.0. The application version of the Engage gaming console. This game was developed by ID Work Game Studio and Resident Evil Degeneration published in December 2008. And it was a really good game, but sales, however, wasn't that great. Maybe it had something to do with the Nokia marketing methods. Seriously, Nokia, who would make a zombie dating app to promote a game? Anyway, Fast forward to 5 months, they make an iOS port of the game with better graphics and smoother frame rate. The gameplay of this game was a replica of Resident Evil 4 with the same inventory mechanics and a merchant. It even had quick time events, which is fascinating considering that this game was made for the Java phones. But now let us talk about the plot of the game. You start the game as Leon as he enters the Hardward Wheel Airlines to save the survivors and your partner Ingrid Hannigan aid you throughout your journey. The survivors are in the VIP lounge. The door is locked and you need a password to unlock it. So in the first three chapters, you search for a way to open that door. In this journey, you encounter a lot of zombies alongside your trusty merchant. Not that one but this lame version of our beloved mysterious merchant. Fast forward three chapters, we open the VIP long and find our beloved character, Color Redfield, which is sadly isn't playable in the game. And I think that's why the game didn't sell very well. So now that we find the survivors, the mission should be complete, right? Well, no, in an old arty fashion, one of the survivors is wounded. So Leon must find the first aid to rescue him. Why didn't he just use some green herbs instead? I guess those are only for the main characters. Anyway, after getting the first aid and fighting with the tyrant, we learned that th there are another plane filled with zombies that could take off at any moment because the autopilot has been engaged. So now Leon must go into that plane to stop it, but he gets ambushed by another tyrant. After killing that tyrant like it was nothing, Leon learns that there are more planes filled with zombies that could take off at any moment and the only way to stop them is to shut down the control tower. Leon heads down to the generators, press the button and stop the planes. But yet again he gets ambushed by yet another tyrant. I mean how many tyrants are there? No wonder why Leon feels so confident to kill two tyrants with a knife. Leon kills the tyrant and declares nice. After that, he goes back to clear the rest of the survivors, and that's the end of the game. Resident Evil Degeneration is an outdated mobile game that isn't even canon, and I'm sure most of us don't have access to them because they removed this game from the Apple stores, and the Engage 2.0 became out of service in 2010. But if you had a phone with the game installed or have the time to install the simulator, this game delivers the old fun that only Resident Evil games can give you. The gameplay is very impressive for its time, but they reuse all the mechanics from the mobile version of Resident Evil 4. The gunplay is very smooth, especially what they did with the snipers and the 3D environment is so nice. There are some objectives you could shoot to deal AOE damage and overall is a pretty good game to play and it feels very smooth. 
both in Java and iOS version. But as you can see, the iOS version was better and sharper in graphics and it had an extra scene of the plane crashing to give us a better understanding on how the outbreak happened. But besides that, there is no difference between these two versions. There are some other Java versions of the game that are 2D and to be honest, they are fun in their own way but not great as this beautiful 3D game that didn't get the love it deserved. And that's about it guys. Resident Evil Degeneration was the first CG movie based on the Resident Evil universe. So Capcom decided to make this game adaptation to promote their movie to a wider audience. And the game itself did a pretty good job to show the new players what Resident Evil is all about. But unfortunately, the game didn't sell that much and it failed to get an Android port as well. And I think that's because the marketing method that Nokia used I mean, oh my god, look at it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. I'm Arshia Taife Yavari, and this is Red Herb. See you guys in the next video.